Good evening. I thought I'd share my limited American Motors Jeep Corporation uh, die-cast collection here from the basics, match, Matchbox and Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightning and Greenlight. Uh, so we're going to start, start off with the Matchbox Jeep Willys pickup. Um, this one I have from a five pack. This is an, a new car from last year. Um, although I think it was released earlier. It says 164th scale. It says copyright 2015. So that's from, uh, so that would mean a 2016 release. Um, and while it has very few details, it does have tampos for the splattered mud. Um, it's a nice blue gray plastic base um, with this goldish brown beige uh, plastic for the bed and the interior. And then this Hot Wheels 67 uh, Jeep Jeepster Commando. Um, this with the two-door cab and the short pickup bed and the motorcycle on the back and they've actually uh, put all the tampos on the bike the the hot wheels on the tank and the gold for the carburetor and the silver for the exhaust and for the strut and a uh, racing number number 22 uh, eagle motors on the side hot wheels um, very few details but a winch black plastic base uh, a cream color it's got um, a sunroof I guess in the in the, in the top of the luggage rack on top uh, and some chunky off-road tires and we're gonna compare this to another Jeep in a few minutes and the uh, it doesn't say a name this is from that star spangled uh, set that I had bought at Walmart not long ago, my Walmart redemption. So this is an AMC AMX Javelin. It says Javelin. It's got the Hot Wheels logo and the American flag graphics. Um, no painted details. And it's a 2012 um, copyright Chrysler Group LLC so probably a 2013 release it's it's a ni nice casting it, it, you know these were nice cars um, it doesn't say the year but I think this is a 72 or a 73 um, so that's our, our mainline cars those are all mainline cars and Johnny Lightning not to be left out of the party uh, this um, Gremlin X um, with plastic wheels, the Kregers. So this is a 1999 release uh, with some nice painted details. Painted V8 motor. Uh, the Gremlin was a compact economy car but was available with a, a inline 6 or a V8 in the Gremlin X. And they had some quirky packages like the Levi package and so forth. I like this casting. Uh, Hot Wheels has done some modified um, castings of this. The greased Gremlin. I was never into those. Uh, a member of my family actually owned a Gremlin. So I've ridden in. I've never driven one of these. Um, and they were quirky cars. Uh, but some nice details. And because of this is the, uh, I believe, playing Mantis era. Uh, let's see. Does it say? Hold on. This might actually be newer than, I think that says 2004. So maybe it's after the playing Mantis era. Because the details and the proportion are nice on this. So this is the classic gold series, I believe. Uh, I believe it was also done in, in Street Freaks. And this, uh, 1973 AMC Hornet, 
Um, and it's got uh, nice painted details. This one does not have an opening hood. And this again is a car that would have been available predominantly with a straight six or a V8. And in fact, they had a version of this that had the 360 V8. So it, it had quite a bit of power. There are some nice painted and tampo details on here. Um, this one has rubber tires, uh, obviously metal base riveted. Um, let's see, do I have that upside down? 2002 playing Mantis, 1974 AMC Hornet. And for those that are unaware, the AMC Hornet made a special appearance in um, a James Bond movie, um, Roger Moore's second film, The Man with the Golden Gun. And in that film, um, the Scaramanga, Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun, um, used a red one of these in his getaway uh, from James Bond. And it was famous for doing the uh, barrel loop and also for driving in, picking up some wings and taking off as an airplane. Um, I think I'm a little older than a lot of the folks that do this, probably 10 years or so older than most. But if you're not familiar with that movie, check it out because that's pretty cool. And I recently showed um, this gold Jeep CJ7 uh, from the Jamboree um, anniversary series uh, from Greenlight. Very recently in another video. 1987, C I'm sorry, 82 CJ7. Um, and that's very nice. And of course, my recent green machine find, the 1992 Jeep YJ from the Supernatural. And I have some cars that I'm going to crack uh, that are AMC. These three are all from the same series, uh, Hot Pursuit Series 35. And we're going to start off with the 1969 Jeep Jeepster from the Toledo, Ohio Police Department. And I have pre-cut these. Sorry. And now there should be, yeah, a plastic band here that holds the roof on. And if it's got the red light, it's kind of silly that it has the roof that comes off, but the, the entire roof comes off. And there are others uh, running on empty series and so forth that use this Jeepster, uh, this Jeep Jeepster casting. It's got two pins and then it should, yeah, fit there. So, nice painted details, no lens details. Uh, green light does a nice job. Traffic control, number 95. Uh, nice painted details, no license plate. Uh, nice Jeep badge on the front. We'll take the top off again and take a look. The interior is well done, no painted details. It looks like the seats are a little crooked in the interior. And it seems to roll fairly well. This seems like a plastic base to me, but 3146 is a serial number. And 1980, trademark 2020? No, hold on. 2018, made in China. And just to compare it to the Hot Wheels casting for scale, I mean, it, I don't mean to be too critical of Hot Wheels. 
Um, obviously, this has like an off-road stance and tires and everything. But just simply, the Hot Wheels is just a little larger in size. But that's the difference between $1 and $5. Uh, again, I'm not trying to beat up on Hot Wheels. I'm not a huge fan of these Jeepsters. I never was. I always preferred uh, the CJ and YJ and the new uh, JK, the, the uh, what became the Wrangler um, Jeeps. And of course the Grand Wagoneer, which I don't have here. Uh, I really, I have a matchbox version of that i don't have it here um i keep it at my office for some reason and so sticking with the american motors uh hot pursuit series 35 from the dallas police force is the 1974 amc matador and these were very popular as police cars um even on TV, if anybody remembers Adam 12 and Emergency, and so they would use these as part of their police fleet. And local police departments near me, not New York City, where I grew up, but another city that I lived in, which I is going to be, used these. So I used to see these as, as a kid. And so this 1974 AMC Matador, which I don't think any other diecast company has done a Matador. Uh, they'll do the Javelin. They'll do, um, well, the Gremlin. But the Matador doesn't get much love. And these were really sturdy cars. So let's see what I can see. I can't see much. I can't see a number. Oh, there we go. Green light. 2018. Um, no visible serial number. There's the... Casting number GL, what was that, 146? Um, nice painted details. The light bar is a bit chunky. Some nice weight to this, this car. Um, painted taillights, no, no license plate. But that's nice. But this is the one I've been waiting for. This is a 1971 uh, AMC Matador from the Yonkers, New York Police Department. And Yonkers is a city that I lived in for over 30 years. I was born in New York City, but as uh, a teenager, my family moved to uh, the Yonkers area. And I lived in Yonkers for 30 years, uh, maybe even a little more than 30 years. I went to high school in Yonkers. And actually graduated from high school with the current mayor, um, who was a great guy. Um, and in the package, I said, and I'm sure out of the package, I'll agree. They nailed this livery. I remember these black and white cars very well. Um, and a plate with number 116, painted details, uh, no opening hood. Um, the light bar is again a little chunky but they did a nice job with the black steely rims uh, obviously metal base rubber tires um, is it rolling no a little, little bit of drag on the back wheels but nice uh, car number 116 I'm sure if I looked that up on Google, there it is. Dial 963-5252. There it is better. And that was actually the number uh, for the police in Yonkers. The seal of the city of Yonkers. And what, what does that say? 404? 404? That's the big block from AMC. So that's really nice. 
Um, and I've been meaning to crack open some of these cars, and I and I wanted to open up these police cars. And I said, well, if I'm going to do the police cars, I should do all of my um, AMC and Jeeps. You know, it's not a it's not a big group, but some of them are very nice. I'm not going to beat up on the uh, mainline Hot Wheels and so forth, but the Johnny Lightning, this Gremlin, and even though the hood doesn't open, this Hornet, they've been among my favorites for a long time. So I'll have to get a display area where I just put, uh, in one of my cases, just my AMCs. So just a quick uh, showing the American Motor Co Corporation Jeep, AMC Jeep, love. Um, so uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if anybody is on the fence about buying these Matadors, I would definitely say the 71. Uh, the 74 is nice. Um, they're both nice. But this 71 is so well done. All right. Um, and if you can find this AMC Hornet from Johnny Lightning, it, it's it's very nice. The Gremlin's nice. Everything's nice. Uh, so uh, thank you. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see what other brands of die-cast and uh, manufacturers that I can come up with. Um, so have a good night.